All right, this is the big one, Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 3, final episode. And this will also include the final commission. I'm not making a separate recap just for that. So, let's get started. So, our celebrity model is Tom Courtenay. He is an actor and he is in what I think is my favorite movie. I really recommend it, but I don't know if you'll enjoy it. It's, it's a movie that is, um, makes you think really, really hard, but it doesn't necessarily make you feel upbeat afterwards. It's a real thoughtful piece. I could talk about it endlessly, but, but I won't. But uh, the movie is called um, 45 Years, and it's about a couple that is celebrating their 45th anniversary and something is revealed right before the big celebration and both characters have to uh, deal with with that revelation. I, I just find it a fascinating program. So anyway, Tom Courtenay is our model for today and th th that is the movie that I'm referring to. I don't know where you can see it, but um, I'm sure if you search the internet and you're interested enough, you can find it. And, the, and Charlotte Rampling is the actress along with him in that uh, movie. And uh, boy, I, I will watch anything Charlotte Rampling is in. All right, let's look at the three competitors. Remember, we had seven people in the semifinals. There were three competitors picked for the finals. Here's the first one up. Now remember, they had a digital submission of a self-portrait in order to get in the program. So this was her submission to get in the program, and there she is standing next to it. She works in a very monochromatic style. This is the painting that she did that won her particular episode. I don't have a lot to say about it. She definitely has a consistent style. I don't think she has a chance of winning and I'm not so sure why they chose her as opposed to many other painters who I found more intriguing. This is the one that she did in the semifinals. The semifinals was to paint Imelda Stanton, a famous actress, and you might know her from The Crown. She's played the queen for a couple of seasons. So the next one up is this artist. There's his digital submission is on the right. That's his self-portrait. He works in charcoal and pencil. And the Paint, and the drawing on the left is what he won his particular episode with. He is an excellent, excellent drafts person. Here's a better look at it here. It's just incredibly accurate and, and quite similar to what his uh, submission piece was. Here's his picture of Imelda Stanton, which was, like I said, the semifinals. That's what got him here. So he has a very consistent style and not too much difference between when he had unlimited time to work, which was on his self-portrait, and when he's in the time constraints of the four hours, which is what this program has. Now let's look at the last contestant for the finals. This is somebody who was cut from his particular episode. I was so upset about this, I can't even say, but he was cut and sent home, and then in the semifinals, to everybody's surprise, he was brought back to be in the semifinals. This is the painting that he did. I could not find a, a picture of the self-portrait that he submitted for the program. So this is the painting that he was rejected with, which is crazy ridiculous. And in a moment, we'll see his picture of Imelda Stanton. I really thought, the minute I saw this painting, I thought he's going to win the whole thing, no question about it, and we'll find out whether or not that's true here. It, it has such an extreme likeness to the sitter, as does this one. And one of the challenges, I should also say, uh, that they had in um, the semifinals was they wanted you to incorporate the background and the setting that Imelda was in, and he did, whereas the other two finalists that we just saw did not or I guess just didn't, to my mind, very adequately address that. And I thought this guy had all the bells and whistles. So that is why he's here at, in the finals. Now, they've had four hours to paint um, Tom Courtenay. And after four hours, they turn their easels around and the paintings are revealed. And Tom will pick one of these paintings to take home with him. That won't be one of the finalists in the actual program, but it gets to be a painting he can take home. Here's the first one, and you can kind of recognize her style. We've already seen it. Pretty monochromatic and quite, <laughs> sorry to say it, but drippy. <laughs> it's got a, a drippy 
if you've ever, if you're watercolorist, if you've ever worked on Yupo paper, which is very slippery paper, it's like painting on ice. I don't know what her technique is. I know she's a professional, which is interesting to me. I just find her her portraits inadequate for me. Here's the person, like I said, who was sent home, and here's his picture of Tom Courtenay, and he's talking to Tom about it. It is so accurate. It's it's just uh, absolutely amazing. It's accurate at the same time. It's also has the freedom of that paint has. So it's not photorealist. You can see the brush strokes, you can see the decisions that the paint the artist makes. And I just thought, well, he's gonna win, or he should win. But once again, we'll see whether or not that happens. The third contestant was our very consistent charcoal and pencil worker. Oh, I did, a, I, I'm so enamored with this particular artist that I had to have us look a little bit more at, at a close up of his work. Beautiful, right? All right, now the uh, charcoal pencil artist, also incredibly accurate when it comes to finding a likeness, which I'm sticking to that being quite an important criterion in this program. It is called Portrait Artist of the Year. So I think it has to have a resemblance to the sitter. And many of the paintings in this season three have not. So there are three very good candidates. Tom is gonna to pick one of these to go home with him and let's see which one he picks. Well, Tom's pick is the one I would have chosen. <laughs> I, I think this painter is just terrific in, in all ways. So that's one going home with Tom, but that is not the end of the program or who, win, who necessarily wins. Now, the second part of the finals is that three commissions are assigned. Each person has a different person to paint with unlimited time constraints. So we get to see what their, what their full a display of, of work might look like. So here's the charcoal and pencil artist working on his model, who must be a famous barrister of some kind. Lots of color to work with there, but again, remember, he's, he doesn't work in color. He's working in pencil and charcoal, but I'm sure it will be incredibly accurate as everything has been. Here we can see both his picture of Tom Courtenay on the left, which he did in four hours for the finals here, and the one on the right, oh, he did use color. Wow, I only noticed it right now on the rewatch. I thought it was black and white, <laughs> jeez. Well, anyway, um, so beautifully done. You know, clearly can handle the commission that the prize is. The, the final prize is to do a commission painting of the comedian and talk show host, Graham Norton. And it will hang in a national gallery. So it's very important that the winner has the goods to be able to deliver on that commission. Here is the second model for our finalist. This is uh, the woman who works in a more monochromatic way. And so let's see how she responded to the challenge. And I do think that this person is perhaps a percussionist, has something to do with drums, a musician and percussionist. It's not completely monochromatic, and I, I think it has a bit of a likeness to her, but compared to the um, to care, compared to what we've seen so far, it's 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 just not gonna hold up. It's it's pretty weak. So here's the third one, and this is uh, this one was a surprise to me because of just how, when you see the final composition, I think you'll be surprised. I thought it would be something like this, maybe a little bit more of the body, but it's going to incorporate the entire stage that this actress is sitting on. I don't know if she's an actress or a singer, but the final piece is so ambitious. Oh, see, look at that. Wow, gosh. So this is the fellow who I'm kind of in love with, um, who's put the entire room as well as gotten her likeness in front. I mean, I just thought he has shown that he can just paint the heck out of anything. How could he not be the winner? But in one moment, the winner will be re revealed. So the winner for season three, Portrait Artist of the Year, season three is, dun, 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 dun. It is our very perfect drafts person or Whatever, whatever you call someone who, who draws. <laughs> sure, it's not a draft person. But here is the work that we saw earlier, and here's the whole body of work that he did, from the self-portrait on the left to the painting that he did that won his heat, which is the next one further in on the left, and then the two for the finals and the semifinals. So 
Congratulations, he's the winner. Now, like I said, the winner goes on to paint Graham Norton, and let's take a look at that. Winning commission piece, first of all, I think it was really smart to put that blue square around the final piece. I do that with some of my artwork here at home. It's just a device that works really well to um, make more impact. And there's his piece. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to go on to recap season four so nice job. because I'm really enjoying the recaps and I'm finding that it makes me want to try different things in my painting. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, and please join my YouTube channel. And I will see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye.